Hi guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKT. In this video, we are going to talk about each and everything about test cases. That is what is test cases, how it is different from test scenarios and when to write test cases, what are the drawbacks if you don't write test cases and what are the benefits of writing test cases. Also at the end of the video, we are going to talk about what are the characteristics of a good test cases. In my next video, I will be uploading how to write test cases using any test case tool. So let's get started today to talk about each and everything about test cases. Talking about the test scenario, it will be like, it will be a high level documentation which explains how your application functionality works. That is called as test scenario. It is a high level understanding of any application functionality. That is called as test scenario. Talking about test cases, it is a detailed documentation or it's a detailed explanation of any particular test scenario let's say suppose you are having a flipkart application so test scenario will say that validation of login into my flipkart application with the correct credentials that means you are trying to validate the login functionality of flipkart application this is your test scenario it will it will only tell what needs to be done but test cases tells you how to test it. Now talking about the test cases, it will be having a brief description of how to test it. It will be having a step to step procedure needs that needs to be followed to reproduce that scenario. So I have said to you guys, test scenario means validation of any particular functionality. Like, like you're, you're trying to log in into Flipkart application with your current credentials. How do you validate it? What will be the scenario? Scenario will be validation of testing the Flipkart login feature with my correct credentials that is called as test scenario now what will be test cases test cases will be step to step procedure to execute this now talking about the test cases it will be like point number one like open your uh, browser enter flipkart.com third point will be like enter your username fourth point will be like enter your password fifth point will be like click on login button this this is like this is your test cases if any person is there if he is having a understanding of whole application if he is having the understanding of the application he can test the application just by looking into the test scenarios but if any person is there who don't have the understanding of the application he cannot test the application by looking into the test scenarios he should have test cases with him which will tell him step to step procedure each and everything what needs to be done I hope now you have understood the difference between test scenario and test cases. Now we are going to discuss what are the drawbacks of not writing test cases. So the main drawbacks are there will be no consistency in test case execution. Suppose for your first release, you tested your application for let's say for 300 test cases and you said that the application is working fine and it got delivered to the customer. Customer is now using it for the second release instead of so remember in your first release you tested the, your application for 300 test cases for your second release which we are going to give to the customer you tested your application only for 280 test cases since you have not documented it by looking into the requirement you could recognize only 280 this time when third release is happening you could remember only 150 test cases so if we see this there is no consistency First there were 300 test cases, then there were 280 test cases, then there are only 150 test cases. Why it is happening? So the inconsistency is happening because we have not written test cases. So this is one of the major drawbacks of not writing test cases. And the second drawback of not writing test cases is coverage will not be good. You won't be able to cover all the scenarios, all positive and negative scenarios, you won't be able to do it. So coverage will not be good. And the third drawback of not writing test cases is, if you're not writing test cases, if you're not making the document of all the test cases, testing will depend on the mood of the test engineer. If his mood is good, he will come up with the creative scenarios and he will test the application. Whereas when his mood is off and he's thinking some of the other thing, that time he will not be able to come up with the creative scenarios and he won't be able to test the application and also when you're not writing test cases it all depends on the memory power of the particular test engineer so when i'm testing it whatever in memory it is coming i'm just testing it suppose when you're having a document irrespective of what is your mood how you are who you are if you have document you will 
correctly test all the scenarios everything you will test it but since you're not having it testing the application will depend on your memory skills since you have not made the document of your test cases whatever things are coming into your mind you are doing you are testing it and since we have not documented our test cases quality of testing will vary from person to person some person may do it very good some person may not be able to do it good because they have not made the document so some some people will be able to test the application by applying their logic by applying their uh, memory power and they will be able to test the application some people will not be able to test it so quality of testing varies from person to person if you are not maintaining the document of your test cases so these are the major drawbacks of not writing test cases let's talk about when do we write test case as you guys know when my customer is giving a requirement when my customer is giving the requirement that time my developers will be busy in writing the code what qa will be what tester will do tester will they will start writing test cases so when do we write test cases is when the customer gives the requirement that time developer will be busy in writing the code that time test engineer should start writing test cases second point is when customer is changing the requirement that time test engineer should update their test cases or when customer is doing some modification in that requirement that time test engineer should update their test cases and also when test engineer testing the application and he, if he is finding something new that needs to be written in your test case document that time also they can update it when you have the requirement right that time it is highly impossible for a test engineer to write all 100% test case in the test case document there are chances that when you are testing the application also that time also some or the other scenarios are coming to your mind that time also you should upgrade you should update your test cases guys now the question arises why do we write test cases so the answer is the reason we write test cases is to have better test case coverage when i talk about best test case coverage in the sense i have covered all possible scenarios that is better test case coverage and also to have better consistency in my test case execution when i say better consistency in test case execution it means when you are releasing a software for the first time that time since you you tested for 300 scenarios right for the second release also if you are writing test cases that time this inconsistency will not be there you will be testing your release one release two release three or for the releases with all the scenarios which you had tested in your starting from release one release two release three there will not be inconsistency in test case execution and also when you have written your all test case document when you are hiring a new test engineer you can just give him the document and tell him to go through it and understand the application so you can avoid your any team member time to train that particular new test engineer you can avoid wastage of time of your any employee to spend his time for the newly hired test engineer in making the newly hired test engineer understand how your application works you can just give him the test case document and ask the newly hired test engineer to please go through the document and understand the application and also to depend on the process rather than the person when i say depend on the process that means when i have my test case document with me i am depending on the process tomorrow my company let's say is 2 years old from starting of my company we have only one test engineer who is working from the starting suppose 2 years down the line if he is resigning tomorrow i will not depend on him if he want to go he can leave and go since i have the document i can hire a new test engineer and give him the document he can understand the application and he can start testing it i am not depending on the person rather than that i am depending on the process and guys when you have the requirement and you are testing the application it is very hard for the test engineer to come up with the creative scenario and test the application there are 100% chance that you will miss some scenarios if you are checking your requirement and testing the testing the application if you are not having the your test case document then definitely you will miss some scenarios some person who is having the test case document and if he is testing it and some person who is looking into the requirement and he is testing the application definitely this person will miss lot of scenarios by the way the person who is 
looking into the test case document and testing it definitely his coverage will be good his consistency will be good and one more thing when you have tested something and finally it has gone to the production customer are using it and now they are blaming that this functionality is not working which is very critical in that case test engineer have the only proof of test case they can show that see dude when i tested the application i have covered this particular test case and it is passed so when you have the test case document it is the only proof for the test engineer to show it to the developers and customer that they have covered that particular scenarios while testing it otherwise blame will come to you so it is always good to have your test case document ready all the time so now we are going to discuss what are the characteristics or what are the quality of a good test cases so the first point of a good test cases is coverage should be good that means when you are converting your converting your requirement to the test scenario and test cases you should cover all the points you should not miss any particular scenario you should not miss any particular feature each and everything when you are converting your requirement to your test scenario or test cases you should cover all the positive test cases that is called as test coverage should be good you should be able to cover all the possible scenarios second point is when you are writing test cases the number of steps to reproduce that particular scenario should be minimum should be minimum and it should be very understandable for any particular person third point when we are giving our test cases to any newly test engineer to to understand the application he should be able to understand the application without asking any simple question to you it should be in a very simple language for the people for any new person who is referring the document should be able to understand it perfectly and third point when you are writing test cases you should always cover positive test cases first and then go to the negative test cases fourth point whenever you are writing your test cases it should always be written in the test case template fifth point your test case document should be in such a way that it should have a capability to catch number of defects it should have the capability to catch defects and your test case document should be in such a way that when you are converting your manual test scenarios to your automation script it will be very easy for the person to convert it those scenarios into his automation scripts six point when you are writing your test cases there should not be any duplicate test cases seven point your test cases whatever you are writing should be written by applying test case design techniques what do you mean by test case design technique i will be talking in my later videos once the video is ready i will be adding that particular video link in the link description so these are the major characteristics or a quality of a good test cases so i hope this video was useful to you guys if you yes, please give a thumbs up to this video and if you really want to reach to me i have added my gmail in the link description please reach me out in the next video i will be talking about how to write test cases in a test case tool till then take care